Yovelim Jubilees 7. And in the seventh week, in the first year thereof, in this jubilee, Noach planted vines on the mountain on which the ark had rested, named Lubar, one of the Ararat mountains, and they produced fruit in the fourth year. And he did guard their fruit and gathered it in this year in the seventh month. And he made wine therefrom and put it into a vessel and kept it until the fifth year, until the first day, on the new moon of the first month. And he celebrated with joy the day of this feast, and he made a burnt sacrifice unto Yahuwah, one young ox and one ram and seven sheep, each a year old, and a kid of the goats, that he might make atonement thereby for himself and his sons. And he prepared the kid first, and placed some of its blood on the flesh that was on the altar which he had made, and all the fat he laid on the altar where he made the burnt sacrifice. And the ox and the ram and the sheep, and he laid all their flesh upon the altar. And he placed all their offerings mingled with oil upon it, and afterwards he sprinkled wine on the fire which he had previously made on the altar, and he placed incense on the altar, and caused a sweet savor to ascend acceptable before Yahuwah Eloheyu. And he rejoiced and drank of this wine, he and his children with joy. And it was evening, and he went into his tent, and being drunken, he lay down and slept, and was uncovered in his tent as he slept. And Cam saw Noah, his father, naked, and went forth and told his two brethren without. And Shem took his garment and arose, he and Japheth, and they placed the garment on their shoulders and went backward and covered the shame of their father, and their faces were backward. And Noah arose from his sleep and knew all that his younger son had done unto him. And he cursed his son and said, Cursed be Canaan, an enslaved servant shall he be unto his brethren. And he blessed Shem and said, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Elohim shall enlarge Japheth, and Elohim shall dwell in the dwelling of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Ham knew that his father had cursed his younger son, and he was displeased that he had cursed his son. And he parted from his father, he and his sons with him, Cush and Mitzrayim, and Put and Canaan. And he built for himself a city and called its name after the name of his woman, Ne'elatama'uk. And Yepheth saw it and became envious of his brother, and he too built for himself a city. And he called its name after the name of his woman, Adatan Eneses. Rather, Adatan Eses. And Shem dwelt with his father Noach, and he built a city close to his father on the mountain. And he too called its name after the name of his woman, Sedek Hetelavav. And behold, these three cities are near Mount Lubar. Sedeketel Elevav, fronting the mountain on its east, and Na'el Tama'uk on the south. Adatan Ases, toward 
towards the west. And these are the sons of Shem, Elam and Ashur and Arpachshad. This son was born two years after the flood and Ludi and Aram. The sons of Japheth, Gimmer and Magog and Madai and Yavan, Tubal and Meshech and Thyrak. These are the sons of Noah. And in the 28th Jubilee, Noah began to enjoin upon his son's sons the ordinances and commandments and all the judgments that he knew. And he exhorted his sons to observe righteousness and to cover the shame of their flesh and to bless their creator and honor father and mother and love their neighbor and guard their souls from fornication and uncleanness and all iniquity. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth, namely owing to the fornication wherewith the watchers against the Torah of their ordinances went a whoring after the daughters of men and took themselves women of all which they chose. And they made the beginning of uncleanness. And they begat sons, the Nephilim, and they were all un unlike, and they devoured one another. And the giants slew the Nephil, and the Nephil slew the Elyo, and the Elyo mankind, and one man another. And everyone sold himself to work iniquity, and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. And after this they sinned against the beasts and birds, and all that move and walks on the earth, and much blood was shed on the earth, and every imagination and desire of men imagined vanity and evil continually. And Yahuwah destroyed everything from off the face of the earth because of the wickedness of their deeds and because of the blood which they had shed in the midst of the earth. He destroyed everything. And we were left, I and you, my sons, and everything that entered with us into the ark. And behold, I see your works before me, that ye do not walk in righteousness. For in the path of destruction ye have begun to walk, and ye are parting one from another, and are envious one of another. And so it comes that ye are not in harmony, my sons, each with his brother. For I see and behold the devils have begun their seductions against you and against your children. And now I fear on your behalf that after my death ye will shed the blood of men upon the earth and that ye too will be destroyed from the face of the earth. For whoso, whoso sheds man's blood and whoso eats the blood of any flesh shall all be destroyed from the earth. And there shall not be left any man that eats blood or that sheds the blood of man on the earth, nor shall there be left to him any seed or descendants living under heaven. For into Sheol shall they go, and into the place of condemnation shall they descend, and into the darkness of the deep shall they all be removed by a violent death. There shall be no blood seen upon you of all the blood. There shall be all the days in which ye have killed any beasts or cattle or whatsoever flies upon the earth. And work ye a good work to your souls by covering that which has been shed 
on the face of the earth. And ye shall not be like him who eats with blood, but guard yourselves, that none may eat blood before you. Cover the blood, for thus have I been commanded to testify to you and your children, together with all flesh. And suffer not the soul to be eaten with the flesh, that your blood, which is your life, may not be required at the hand of any flesh that sheds it on the earth. For the earth will not be clean from the blood which has been shed upon it. For only through the blood of him that shed it will the earth be purified throughout all its generations. And now, my children, hearken, work judgment and righteousness, that ye may be planted in righteousness over the face of the whole earth, and your glory lifted up before my Elohim, who saved me from the waters of the flood. And behold, ye will go and build for yourselves cities and plant in them all the plants that are upon the earth, and moreover all fruit-bearing trees. For three years the fruit of everything that is eaten will not be gathered. And in the fourth year its fruit will be accounted holy, and they will offer the first fruits, acceptable before El Elyon, who created heaven and earth, and all things. Let them offer in abundance the first of the wine and oil as first fruits on the altar of Yahuwah, who receives it. And what is left, let the servants of the house of Yahuwah eat before the altar which receives it. And in the fifth year, make ye the release so that ye release it in righteousness and uprightness, and ye shall be righteous, and all that you plant shall prosper. For thus did Hanak, the father of your father, command Methuselah, his son, and Methuselah, his son, Lamech. And Lamech commanded me all the things which his fathers commanded him. And I also will give you commandment, my sons, as Hanak commanded his son in the first jubilees, while still living, the seventh in his generation. He commanded and testified to his son and to his son's son until the day of his death.